Hello there, kids. We're here to read the bad guys in Alien vs. Bad Guys. So, this is Aaron Blaby on this picture. It says his name right here. So, this is the author who made this book. So, and look, this says number six. This means this is the sixth book of this. And this is um the book that comes after this book so let's get started with this book right now these are the other books that you can find from walmart all right the bad guys in alien or so <laughs> why is this a picture of this butt hand <laughs> aaron Blake. the bad guys in alien versus bad guys and why is this butt showing um, this thing at Piranha? All right, let's get started. Good Guys Club, save the world. There are celebrations across the globe tonight as the evil Dr. Pupper Marmalade has been defeated. Yes, that's right. Every kitten, puppy, bunny, pony, and dolphin has been turned from a flesh-eating zombie back into our cute and furry friends. And who do we have to thank? The Good Guys Club. As good as it can. Sure, the name might be lame, but I debut there's a creature on this planet that wouldn't like to give those wonderful, wholesome boys a hug. The lovable Mr. Wolf, the brilliant Mr. Snake, the powerful Mr. Shark, and the other one, that is some kind of fish, possibly a sardine. <laughs> they are the greatest legends of our time. And I'd personally, personal, personally like to add that I always thought they were awesome. I really did, so let's send them all a great big thank you wherever they may be to the gang that saved the world not bad guys not bad at all it's nice to think if you're there whenever you're protecting us you great big beautiful doctor. chapter one deep space deep poop i think i'm going to cry me too i'm already crying i can't stop crying i'm so scared pull yourselves together will you we have to get out of here how he's an alien marmalade isn't a guinea pig or even the mad scientist who tried to destroy the world he's an enormous hostile alien life form with more teeth tentacles than but <laughs> than any decent creature should have and we're trapped inside its space station, space station with on the moon without a rocket. So how are we going to get out of here? Shh, it'll hear us. What are we going to do? We can't die here. We can hide here. Splodge! Eat the move. It's looking for us. We're being hunted. Wait, it's moving away. Look at all that goo. Splod, splod. We can't stay here. We have to go. We have to go. It has too many. <laughs> There's just too many butts. Too many butts. It's like you can talk to your farting. <laughs> oh man, this is so not fair. We've come so far. Finally, everyone thinks we're heroes. We can't die here. We need a plan. Hey, what's that? Legs, where are you going? Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Ha, do you. Know what is this? Is it the little room where we all die? No, it's an escape pod. This is how we get out of here. But it's an alien spaceship. How will you even know how to work it? How hard can it be? I bet there are a whole bunch of languages on and probably some from Earth. And yep, what if I just punch in a few coordinates and yep i'd say we're good to go 
Man, you just hacked an alien computer. Seriously, we don't give you as much credit as you deserve. Let's hear it for legs, guys. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't you stay here and have a parade for legs? I'll see you back on Earth, okay? You are the rudest little... No, he's right. Everyone... Get in. I just finish up out here and we'll be on our way. Wow, that adventure ended more quickly than I expected. What was actually pretty easy, wasn't it? No big deal. Geez, what a relief. And you're right, Mr. Shark. Thump. Seriously, what do we do without legs? In fact, how is it going out there, little buddy? Legs, is everything cool? Legs. Chapter 2, and there were four. Where'd he go? All right, we'll read the rest one with you later. So when I'm done drinking my milk, we'll do another one, okay?